you just make it work. I think that's that's the kind of the goal of it all. So, you know, you mentioned yeah. that you're going to be traveling a lot leading up to the games, obviously. How will you deal with the long distance with your relationship? And, you know, when you guys do get that time together, what are some of the things that you like to do to kind of reset and, and take Olympics off your mind? Yeah, it's been difficult. I mean, she's incredibly talented and those talents, you know, are seen by people. And, they, you know, uh, she gets requested to do projects and movies and all sorts of things. And, um, and you know, and even during, um, you know, when the whole world was shut down, she was actually shooting a movie up in Canada. And that was probably one of the toughest things because I couldn't get into Canada. I tried. <laughs> I was turned around. <laughs> I was like, well, come on. I was at the Olympics here. You got, you remember? Come on. Uh, I cut my hair, you know. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, but, um, you know, it's challenging. It's hard. But I think that's one of those things where we have like a nice little system of how to stay in touch. And, you know, plane tickets are, are pretty much booked, you know, for any opportunity that we can go see one another. So, um, you know, I know right during the holiday break, we're going to meet up and we're going to meet up again, um, probably around Christmas time. And any anything that happens in between then, I'll... Uh, I'll jet over and, and see her and um, you just make it work. I think that's that's the kind of the goal of it all and the key to it all is just m making the time and um, she's super organized and on top of it. So um, I, I give it to her. She always <laughs> she always finds a way to make it happen. And, and what's been really great is she can snowboard really well. Um, you know, because I'm not the best teacher. For some reason, I can do it, but I can. I just have a really hard time explaining how. And um, I remember our first riding day together. Like I was like, okay, like, I'm getting ready for her to be falling, and and uh, I you know zipped down the mountain and and I turned around. And I was like, oh gosh, I hope she's she's okay. And I'm sitting there for a minute. And I was like. Uh -oh, like, do I unstrap and walk up? Maybe she fell. I'm the horrible guy that just took off, and and she she had passed me during my run somehow, going way faster than me. And um, she was already waiting at the chairlift. She's like, "What were you doing?" I was like, "I thought you fell." <laughs> but um, it's really nice. So we actually, you know, we have so much in common um, in that space, and enjoy just like spending time together. So, um, but. Um, but yeah, so we're making it work. They saw that you had uh, recently remodeled some of your house, I think. Yeah, during quarantine, um, you know, Nina wanted to paint the house and, um, you know, she was going through all these bids and I, I was like the tough guy, like, let's do it. We can do it. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. Like, Trust me, we got this. And so we painted the whole house and um, you know, it was really fun. I was like, look, let's just do one one wall a day. Let's not try to take on this whole project and get burnt out or whatever. I was like, we had a, a plan, you know. Um, I, I've found that I'm quite handy over the, <laughs> the quarantine. Um, I like to fix things and work in the yard. And I'm, I'm, I'm very much a homebody. 